Hello students, welcome to the lecture. After studying this lecture, you will be able to understand production function with two variable inputs, explain ISO cost lines, explain returns to scale, discuss the Cobb Douglas production function, understand the concept of cost, describe the kinds of costs, discuss the cost in long run and short run. Explain economies of scale. Describe the break-even analysis. The cost of capital is critically important in finance as it plays a crucial role in the capital budgeting decision. The progressive management always takes notice of the cost of capital while taking a financial decision. The concept is quite relevant in the managerial decisions as it may be used as the measuring road for adopting an investment proposal. It is significant in designing the firm's capital structure. The cost of capital is influenced by the chances in capital structure. A capable financial executive must have knowledge of the fluctuations in the capital market and should analyze the rate of interest on loans and normal dividend rates in the market from time to time. It can be used to evaluate the financial performance of the top executives. It is also of vital importance in regulated industries including electric, gas, telephone, railroad, airline and trucking companies. It is also important in many other areas of decision making such as dividend decisions, working capital policy etc. ISO cost line In economics, an ISO cost line shows all combinations of inputs which cost the same total amount. The ISO cost line is combined with the ISO quant map to determine the optimal production point at any given level of output. The point of tangency between any ISO quant and an ISO cost line gives the lowest cost combination of inputs that can produce the level of output associated with that isoquant. A line joining tangency points of isoquants and isocosts with input prices held constant is called the expansion path. Returns to scale characterize different DEA models. For example, CRS DEA model. What does that mean? Answer. RTS type refers to the shape of DEA frontier, best practice frontier. In this case, the DEA frontier is of constant RTS, CRS. Cost concepts, direct costs, those costs that can be specifically and exclusively identified with a particular cost object. As an example, we can mention the wood for manufacturing a particular type of a desk in an organization. Indirect costs Those costs that cannot be identified specifically and exclusively with a given cost object. As an example, we can mention the salaries of factory supervisors or the rent of the factory. Kinds of costs Replacement and historical costs the historical cost of an asset refers to the actual cost incurred at the time the asset was acquired. Explicit cost An explicit cost is a business expense, accounted cost that can be easily identified such as wage, rent and materials. Explicit costs gives clear and evident cash outflows from business that decreases its end result profitability. This cost directly affects the revenue. Intangible expenses such as goodwill and amortization are not explicit expense because these expenses do not show clear effects on a business's revenue and expenses. Implicit cost An implicit cost results if the person who at first foregoes the satisfaction in the search of an activity and is not rewarded by money or another form of payment. The implicit cost begins and ends with foregoing the benefits and satisfaction. When an organization or owner 
uses its own equity for company's well air then that cost is considered as implicit cost goodwill is a good example of implicit cost real cost a straightforward cost paid for a product or a service opportunity cost the cost of an alternative that must be foregone in order to pursue a certain action put another way the benefits you could have received by taking an alternative action private cost private is the cost that has to be paid by an individual who is directly involved in the production or consumption of a particular good social cost social cost or external cost is the cost burden carried by individuals who are not directly involved in the production or consumption of that particular good fixed costs the definition of a fixed cost is one which does not vary in total when the level of output by the business does vary variable costs variable costs are those which do vary as a total cost to the organization when output number of items or services produced varies costs in the short run cost in the short run can be classified into fixed cost and variable cost the fixed cost may ascertain in terms of total fixed cost and average fixed cost per unit the variable cost can be determined in terms of average variable cost total variable cost marginal cost marginal cost is less than the average cost when the average cost is falling average cost when the average cost is rising the marginal cost is more than the average cost costs in the long run long run refers to the period of time over which all factors are variable the firm has more time at its disposal to make any change in the production depending on its requirements the firm can expand its production upgrade its production facilities enter into new markets initiate necessary changes in the labor force import technology or undertake research and development the firm can plan and organize every strategy to reduce its cost of production or maximize the volume of production it has no constraints in terms of resources it has no fixed costs all costs are variable so the long run costs refer to the costs of producing different levels of output by changing the scale of production economies of scale economies of scale means that production becomes more efficient as the number of goods being produced increases when more units of a good or a service can be produced on a larger scale yet with on average less input costs economies of scale es are said to be achieved alternatively this means that as a company grows and production units increase a company will have a better chance to decrease its costs internal and external economies of scale internal economies highlight the advantages that a company obtains due to the use of modern techniques external economies are the advantages that a company obtains because of external factors break even analysis break even analysis is a technique widely used by production management and management accountants it is based on categorizing production costs between those which are variable costs that change when the production output changes and those that are fixed costs not directly related to the volume of production total variable and fixed costs are compared with sales revenue in order to determine the level of sales volume sales value or production at which the business makes neither a profit nor a loss the break even point fixed costs fixed costs are those business costs that are not directly related to the level of production or output in other words even if the business has a zero output or high output the level of fixed costs will remain broadly the same in the long term 
fixed costs can alter perhaps as a result of investment in production capacity example adding a new factory unit or through the growth in overheads required to support a larger more complex business variable costs variable costs are those costs which vary directly with the level of output they represent payment output related inputs such as raw materials direct labor fuel and revenue related costs such as commission semi variable costs production cost that remains fixed up to a certain volume after which it becomes variable the total of which responds less than proportionately to changes in volume of activity or which has both a fixed cost element such as monthly rental for a phone line and a variable cost element called charges summary the cost of capital is critically important in finance it plays a crucial role in the capital budgeting decision a cost object is any activity for which a separate measurement of costs is desired the historical cost of an asset refers to the actual cost incurred at the time the asset was acquired an implicit cost results if the person who at first foregoes the satisfaction in the search of an activity and is not rewarded by money or another form of payment private is the cost that has to be paid by an individual who is directly involved in the production or consumption of a particular good the total variable cost increases proportionately with production here the rate of increase is not constant